So tell me a bit about data mayor. Um, we, we're trying to make big data accessible to everybody um, by making it extremely easy and building it on a very powerful platform. How do you, how do you manage that then? How we manage that? So if you, if you work with big data, there are basically three things you really um, have to get done. It's getting your data into whatever your storage and computation system is, um, ETL loading, um, you have to define whatever analytics you want to do. In our case, that's a spreadsheet user interface, very simple to use for everybody that used a spreadsheet before. And then we have visualization as well that then makes this data visual accessible to the decision maker or to the people that needs to get the insights from the data. Okay, so your product sits on top of Hadoop, right? Yes, our product um, uses Hadoop as the uh, foundation, but we have a lot around that as well. We have distributed index technology. Um, again, we, we build a visualization technology that is able to really crunch to huge amount of data. Um, but a storage and computation platform use Hadoop, yeah. What made you think that the time was ready for a, a product like this? Because in some senses, Hadoop has you know, not been around that long. Um, you know, is there really a market for this? What, why did you think it was a good time? I'm personally around Hadoop actually very long. I contributed to the Nudge project, um, started there almost uh, seven years ago. And um, over the last six years, um, I've worked for a lot of companies that always had challenges uh, analyzing, retrieving data. And what I saw is that the Hadoop platform, for example, is a, is a really amazing technology and um, very powerful, but there's a gap. There's a gap in between um, the technology and the people that want to um, use this technology and want to get insights from the data, and we're trying to close this gap. So you have a product that makes it easy for people to load in data, to run some kind of you know, crunching manipulation query over it and so on. What do you think are the next steps? Well, the next steps is um, really to get beyond that we human beings tell the machine what it has to do. Um, the beauty of a Hadoop platform where storage and computation is so cheap is you not can just run against terabytes and petabytes of data, but you also can take you know, 500 gigabytes and run all sorts of very complex statistical algorithms, um, clustering, classification, what have you against that. And um, the beauty really is to have this computation platform that's that powerful. You can run all those things against it and then present it to the user and say, hey, look, we discovered those outliers or here's um, obviously a correlation between two things. And I think the future really is um, to have machines being more friendly to the, to the users and help them to make the decision. By today, it's, it's really an, um, you need to be um, you know, trained to use the data. You need to understand the, um, the maths and the statistics behind that. Um, but I think what would be great is um, giving the insights to the people that need it to drive um, product decisions, that want to drive product um, processes in companies, really give them the insights, rather than really have a chain of people, a programmer, and uh, ETL and a data warehousing guy and you know analytics guy and somehow over this chain you might lose information really empowering the user that need the information is um, I think the future. Thank you. Thanks.